What's up guys, this is Grant, and today we're working on the go-kart. So if you want to take a look over here, this is what we've got going on. Basically, we've got the brand new muffler on there. It was a new takeoff off of a Yamaha R1. Okay, so they got two mufflers, so this is one of two that I've got. And I got it all hooked up onto the go-kart. So this video is gonna go over the process of me getting some flex tubing, uh, welding up this flange adapter right here and getting it all hooked up and we're going to take it for a ride. We're also going to show you how to install exhaust wrap or header wrap. And it's a pretty straightforward process. Provides pretty much no gains at all, but you know what? I did it because it looks cool. I like that old school header wrap look. So as I said, Yamaha R1 muffler. So this is a brand new muffler if you look at the sparks that are coming off of the cutoff wheel, you'll notice that these sparks are, are kind of branching off and they're a different color. The reason why is this exhaust is actually made out of titanium. So what I'm going to need to do is TIG weld it, not MIG. So this next part here is where I'm taking step-down adapters. If you've ever heard of a staged exhaust, I'm actually not making this like a true performance staged exhaust. I'm actually just cutting these so I can make the transition from a roughly one inch inner diameter exhaust to adapt to the actual muffler itself. So what I'm doing here is TIG welding. I'm just basically lower amperage, probably around anywhere from 40 to 70 amps, and adding a small amount of mild steel filler wire. This is steel right here. It's just aluminized steel um, exhaust adapters and it makes a really good weld and it doesn't really bunch up on the inside so you don't lose that on flow. Again, this is just a little adapter that I'm using that will transition to the muffler so if I ever need to remove the exhaust I can just do it very easily. Next is taking this flex exhaust tubing and I'm TIG welding it to the adapter here. So this part you see here is actually going to fit up into the muffler. It's what goes right into that adapter there. What you see here, this plate, is attached to the engine mount only. So when I slide the engine back and forth, this plate will slide back and forth with the engine mount. Uh, these two little holes in it are going to be used to attach the muffler. And if you look at that little L bracket, that's three mounting points for the muffler itself. And I'm just MIG welding the plate to that so I can attach the muffler. And obviously we're welding the other end. So here's the moment of truth. A 1000cc bullet bike Yamaha R1 muffler on a Honda GX390. Let's see what it sounds like. Alright, not too shabby, I like the sound of it. Next is gloves. We're putting on gloves to install exhaust header wrap. What is header wrap? Basically woven insulation that goes around your exhaust and that prevents the exhaust from cooling as fast, which allows the exhaust velocity to be maintained at a high rate, basically scavenging your cylinder a little bit better. And we're installing this little um, cable tie on it, or this is actually stainless steel wire, but you can use a stainless steel cable tie, uh, wrap it around itself. Uh, overlap can be anywhere from 30 to 50% of the width of the exhaust wrap. I wanted to have like a tight woven look to it so I used half inch you can use one or even two inch header wrap doesn't make a difference it's all aesthetics here then you use a cable tie again and seal it off on the other end and it actually cures and tightens up around the exhaust when it dries and I'm just running the engine for a little bit without the belt on it and now we're gonna take it for a real drive and really break it in
All right, so after having taken this for a spin, um, you can see that the valve co cover breather tube is uh, spewing oil on top of the muffler. So I gotta fix that. Um, otherwise it could be a stinky mess pretty soon. I don't know, what do you guys think I should do? Um, I don't know, I've seen these tubes ran to like a catch can or I've also seen like a filter attached to it, but I'm not sure where to get it. So there you have it for now. As you know, any of my builds are kind of a work in progress and there's a few things that I'm planning on doing. I actually wanna make this electric start, believe it or not. So if you take a look down here, um, there's no starter on it. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is rob the electric start system from my 11 horsepower GX340 and uh, go ahead and replace the flywheel here. Um, this old battery right here that I got, got off of eBay for like 15 bucks, it crapped out on me. So I actually got a brand new battery, it's a Duracell battery for like power sport engines. So I'm gonna be putting that on there. Just a few minor engine tweaks. I might actually replace the head gasket with something a little bit smaller. Maybe just do a little bit of port work in here to get a little bit better um, uh, high-end RPMs, but we'll see. That's it for now. Give the video a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.